up to run. Now that he's running for president, Reverend Jackson wants to defuse this issue, as Bob Fall reports. Folks, you know me. Vote for me because I make sense. Today, talking about his proposal to end apartheid to explain how local governments around the country should quit doing business with American firms which trade with South Africa. No city council of sensitive legislators ought to do business with any company that does business with South Africa. But the theme got lost because Jackson had to spend a lot of time fending off questions about a disclosure in today's New York Times that a foundation Jackson helped set up and for which he raises money got $100,000 from the Arab League from 1978 to 1981. Jackson insisted that he didn't know how much the league had given and that there were no strings attached. He also pointed out that major American universities have accepted Arab League money, and he wondered out loud why he's questioned about Arab contributions when there are no questions for officials who take trips and funds provided by Jewish organizations. And yet, it's common practice for, for Congress people and, and editors to go to, to Israel and to be sponsored by the government. It's never since offensive. I know that the, uh, the Arab nations contribute to Harvard, they contribute to the Georgetown, they contribute to the University of Southern California, uh, and, and, it's, and it's socially acceptable, and most importantly, it's within the law. Jackson's lawyer said today the Reagan administration gave the Times the Arab League story to embarrass the Jackson campaign. As for the candidate, he insisted he doesn't know if there's more Arab money and other Operation Push projects, or the identity of an anonymous donor who gave the Push Foundation $350,000. No one is saying Jackson did anything wrong or that the Arab League money is illegal. It is not. Politically, though, the disclosure could be troublesome if it confirms the worst suspicion among some Jewish voters that when it comes to Israel, Jesse Jackson will side with the Arabs. Bob uh, those persons who have hard cast notions about Reverend Jackson and Israel, this will not change them at all. Uh, but second, Reverend Jackson's association with Arab groups has been uh, brought up in the press before. The question in 1979, was he an agent for the Libyan government, came up. Of and course, we handle that He case. made his famous trip over to see the PLO chairman Yasser Arafat before. Why? I guess the question a lot of people are asking uh, because of the New York Times article on Sunday is how could, Pre how could Reverend Jackson not have known about $100,000 from the Arab well, I think League. you have to first realize that uh, Reverend Jackson is not a part of the Push Foundation. The Push Foundation was started several years after Operation Push was started. It has a separate board of directors. Let me raise a couple of the issues that the New York Times article raised and get the response from you, obviously speaking for Reverend Jackson. They suggested there was a $350,000 grant from an anonymous donor, and no one knew who that anonymous donor was. We have received, over the years, since the Foundation has been in existence, many anonymous gifts. Yeah. In this instance, this was a large gift. The Foundation trustees contacted me and asked me if such a gift could be accepted. I said, are there any strings attached to it? Yeah. And the only message that was given with the donation was that this is to further, in substance, the good work of the Push Foundation. One last question came to the question of why you don't want a lot of people to see the reports, the accounting records of Push. Well, that is a misconception. The records are You'll now, agree with me that was suggested in the New York Times that article? That was suggested, but it's incorrect. You don't mind anybody seeing the records? We don't mind anyone seeing the records, except that the records are now impounded so that we can complete the audit requirements of the federal government. The federal government is auditing you because of some federal grants totaling That's some right.